Hey everyone, it's April and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since you last saw me, but I was taking a little break resetting between Valentine's Day and Easter. I didn't really buy uh, much new decor this year, just a couple things, so I didn't really want to do any haul videos. So we're just jumping right on into the Easter and Spring Home Tour this year. Um, we're going to start out in my kitchen. I'm going to show you how I decorated and also share a new furniture piece. Um, as you can see, something looks a little different. I added this gorgeous new hutch to my kitchen. Uh, don't worry, the chicken cage shelf and all that I had in here, I'm moving those to other rooms. But I found this beautiful hutch. I was looking for a small one for a long time on Facebook Marketplace. And I found this one like an hour away. It was only $60. When I picked it up, it was kind of in rough shape, but I knew I was going to give it a makeover. So I got some chalk paint and I gave it a whitewash and distressed look. I'm going to insert a picture here of what it looked like before I painted it. And as you can see, I think it was maybe like a green color, the girl said, and she sanded it down and they just never did anything with it. So I thought it would be a great makeover piece. I'd be able to customize it into what I would like. And it was also the perfect size for my kitchen. Once I had it all painted, it was time to start decorating. I have a lot of different Easter things from home goods that are the color turquoise of my kitchen. And I just added some more greenery. I added some eggs to the back of my metal truck. This flocked bunny is from Walmart this year. He was on a pick and I just pulled it out and added a bow to his neck. Up here are just some things that I had on my chicken cage shelf. With the exception of the mini cake stand, I recently picked that up from Home Goods. I thought it would look really cute on here. And the cupcake was a clearance find at Hobby Lobby from Valentine's Day. It was one of the paintable cupcakes, so I just painted that to have like an everyday look in my kitchen. Up here on the top, I have my canisters, my favorite little mouse in a teacup, and just a few more Easter touches. And then because this does not go up as high as my old shelf, I moved my tobacco basket to the middle with a wreath. And then this um, hanging door shelf with the baskets, I used to just have this like on the ground leaned up, but just because like the spacing of everything on this wall now, I thought it looked better to hang it up. And then I just have my tea kettle down here on the ground just to kind of balance everything out. Um, on the other side, I left everything exactly the same as far as like my artwork. The flower and sugar sign I made. And then I just added a primitive bunny to this fence. And he's really cute. He looks like he was hand painted. And then one of my other favorite bunnies, I have so many of these throughout my home. He's just sitting there in the corner with a little chick. And then, like I said, to balance out the floor there, I just put a basket with some old wooden spindles. So that's how that wall turned out. And we're going to move on over now to my countertop area. You can see it's just straight countertop it doesn't you know I don't have a ton of space in here so I work with what I have since I have such an old home we'll start in this corner I just added a couple little mini bunnies that I got in a pack from Dollar General I was gonna do some crafting with them and I had a few extra my KitchenAid mixer of course which is the color theme in my kitchen these little rain boots I got in the Target dollar section and just added some greenery the bunny soap is from TJ Maxx and I added a little turquoise bow and the other soap is from Bath and Body Works. I believe last year I got it. I have an Easter towel on my little ladder there. And then other than that, my windowsill is just where all my plants live. And then I have two faux plants hanging up on the top. I would have real ones, but it would be too hard to get up and water them. Um, 
the sign that was up on the top with the forks and spoons I made just really glued them on to an old picture in this corner I have a candy jar which I need to get some more Easter candy probably some Reese's eggs I still have some Valentine's Day Lindor truffles in there this primitive bunny I got at a local shop last year on clearance. I thought he looked really cute in here. And then this, I guess it's like a pedestal. I put the glass cloche on top. It doesn't go with this, but it fit on there perfectly. And I just put a fake pie there until I make some cupcakes for Easter. I believe that was from Ross, by the way. And then at my little Keurig station there, I just have two Easter mugs that were probably both from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. On this little shelf, I just have two eggs and a little basket, nothing special. It's hard to find small things to fit in there. And then up on top of my cabinet, just this little vignette that I usually have up here. I just added some greenery to the basket to make it feel more spring. And then the little hanging bird cages as well. By my stove, I have these two oven mitts. They were from Home Goods, And I love how the eggs are like the silicone grippers. They're very subtle and the color gray looks obviously very nice in here. A lot of Easter stuff have a lot of pastel colors and I just like to keep it simple. Um, on there I just have a candle with a little greenery wreath around the middle. And then my towels, like always, I tie them with jute twine so they don't fall off. And I just have two Easter ones, probably both from TJ Maxx. And then if you move up to the top above my laundry room doorway, I just have another little collection of Easter items. I know the bunny trail sign was from Michael's and the turquoise bunny. I think that was from Dollar General a few years ago. Over in this corner, I just have my kitchen conversions and my groceries and dry goods signs. I keep them up most of the year unless I have something else randomly to hang up there that goes with the holiday. But I have them back up for now and I just added some Easter decor to the shelf. The little bunny with dangling legs, some primitive eggs, uh, some greenery in the back little vignette that I came up with kind of similar to last year's and then I would like this basket to sit up like this but I have to get another nail because what I did definitely did not work and it fell down but you get the idea I just want the bunny to be centered then moving over here this is where I decided to move my bread box for now um, it was over on the cabinet kind of where the hutch is now so I had to improvise and I think it looks good here. This is just my trash can. Added a couple cute little Easter things. And then up on my old shutters, I added a green wreath with this styrofoam bunny in the middle just to bring in that pop of turquoise. And then on my refrigerator, you guys know I always have a pretty big collection of magnets. I don't have a ton for Easter. But of course, the carrot sign and the Easter egg farm, they are both from the Mossy Knoll. I talk about her shop all the time on Etsy. Definitely check her out if you're looking for cute little sign magnets. And then the ones that look like cookies, I actually got those at a yard sale one year. And the metal bunny, which is one of my favorites, I got him from a local shop. And lastly, moving over to my kitchen island, I have a hard time finding runners to fit this so i found this last year it's i don't know i guess it's just like a hand towel but it fit on here perfectly and i love the detail of the bunny and then my tear tray i kept it simple very similar to previous years i mean if it's not broke don't fix it right so i just you know keep a lot of my favorite cute little things i love them turquoise peeps 
got those from a local shop one year and the bunny was from target dollar spot and then i got this bunny cutting board one year at ross after covid it was only one dollar and then i found this little fuzzy chicken in my stash i can't remember where that's from and i just stuck it inside of that ray dunn jar but that is it um i'll to give you guys one last little look around uh thank you guys for being patient with me i know it's been a little while since i had a video but like i said just needed a little reset um wanted to get everything perfect before i shared it with you and like i said i just wasn't finding a lot of decor that i wanted to buy this year i did get a few new pieces that are in my living room um, so I will be showing you those in the next um, upcoming videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely consider subscribing if you're not already. Follow me over on Instagram at house to home underscore XOXO. And until the next one, I will see you guys then.